Hey there guys, 12 Caliber here. Today we are playing some Crisis 2 multiplayer beta demo thing on the Xbox. Woo. Yeah, it is uh, it's pretty good. Right, we are playing a team deathmatch on Skyline, which I do believe is the only map available for team deathmatch because there are two modes. I haven't unlocked the other one yet. Um, here we are selecting the equipment. I'm using the Assault class to start off with. Um, I do believe I you know go through all of them this game this game if you've played like Call of Duty or Halo it's very different in controls and the sound is lagging for me I'm not sure if it's lagging for you but anyway so um, here right at the start taking damage you know it looks fairly simple apart from down the bottom the hood is different the uh, the whole key to this um, game really is as far as I'm aware is the energy down in the bottom left, right hand corner, sorry, you can see um, uh, an energy bar. So basically the whole point of Crisis is, you know, your guys running around in giant nano, super nano suits. Um, there is three, th three, three um, main things in this. There's power, armor, and stealth. Um, so everything you do, basically, like running the super speed is to do with power the jumping really high is to do with power um, when you pull the left bumper you go into armor mode which I should have done there but I did not um, but um, yeah the armor mode will give you armor XP because which I'll talk a bit about later and the other trigger bumper rather right bumper puts you in invisible but uh, this the invisibility in this is pretty good it's not like Halo style where you know you walk you take a minute step and you know you're instantly visible this this cloak is pretty darn good um so here you go I am uh, you know taking some melee kills um but yeah this is me with the assault class and you know it's um the it, each class comes with different perks obviously because the in this when you level up you can gain generally XP to level up to you know get to unlock new classes and things but you also gain there's also three subdivisions of leveling up which you can level up your power you can level up your armor and you can level up your stealth and um, each one of them because in the perk system um, the perks are you know specified to power so you'll get one of each so in this the assault class has the um, the power one, the power perk, is the um, ground pound, which is pretty cool. I haven't killed anybody with it yet, but it is still good if, you know, you're jumping into a tight spot and you need, you know, to make sure you're not going to get hurt. Here is a good combination of the stealth and speed, you know, come in. He never saw me come in because the, the um, invisibility in this is great. So the combinations you can use in this are pretty, you know, pretty good. Like you can use stealth and speed. You can use stealth, and then if you get, you know, to sneak up on an enemy and stealth take him out, where you kind of do sort of a Halo and assassination animation. There, wow, that's really weird to say. Assassination animation. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, or you know if you're stealthing about with a sniper maybe because sniping's quite hard in this game you could probably could quick scope but it's um, I have no idea how this guy didn't see me yeah beat him down um, or that guy this this at one point this team was blind but um yeah anyway as I was saying sniping's quite hard because this game team deathmatch is quite fast paced and as you know there's people invisible you'll never know when they'll sneak up on you but um, with invisibility, when you kind of like there, when you um, pull the trigger, it will put your energy into critical. So here, I use armor mode successfully, sponge a grenade, and um, get an assist on this guy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the stealth, the stealth is pretty good. Right, um, that was me using the ground pound, although it didn't kill anybody, and it actually got me killed. It was a good demonstration. Um, this is me switching to the sniper class now. The sn my, I only use it for like two deaths worth. That guy glitches out the way because there's a lot of lag and a lot of bugs because, again, it is only a demo. But, you know. 
it's it's pretty sweet for a demo. The um, the kill cam is another thing to talk about. The kill cam is pretty cool because sometimes if they get like the enemy gets a headshot on you or something, it will slow down the bullet that killed you, and you'll then it will zoom in on it and then you'll see it going into your head, which is quite cool. Um, you can you know steady the scope. The scope um, sway isn't too bad. In fact, it's it's pretty good considering for an FPS. Um, but you can steady it, and that uses power. And um, again, that gives you XP because everything you do, like the easiest what perk to level up or sub perk thing to level up is strength. Strength is definitely the easiest to level up because if you notice below the energy bar is um, three kind of ovals and they'll light up and one says armor, one says strength, this middle one's strength and the one on the right is stealth, obviously. Um, and as they light up it'll tell you which one you're using so it's every time you jump or run the uh, strength is engaged so you'll be gaining strength S XP if you do stuff with it like if you're running and then you press B to crouch and you slide along the floor and then melee a guy which I can tell you is pretty darn fun the sliding mechanic in this is pretty good and there again armor saves me um, so yeah what was I saying Hmm, lost my trailer thought now. Grenades. Ooh, grenades. Grenades in this, it's a bit hard to pull out grenade because if you know if you're in a tight spot. Um, because you gotta use the D pad and I don't know, it's a bit weird. I think they should fine tune grenading a bit. This is me using the nano vision, which is basically thermal kind of like a permanent thermal scope. It's pretty useless. I don't use it because, you know, it just makes things quite disoriented and stuff. The only thing I haven't talked about is the clambering thing, kind of, because it's coming to an end here. Um, you might have seen it throughout this video and in the trailers where you'll jump up to some a ledge and you'll clamber onto the ledge. That is very effective and has saved me many times because on this map there's kind of holes where you'll fall to your death. And, um, yeah. It is very effective. Um, the... I'll, I do show you the levelling up screen here. Um... Somehow I came first in there, god knows how. See look, there it shows you I, I leveled up and unlocked create a class. Because um, this is like my sixth game. And there it shows you the, you know, sub-leveling up. And it also gives you accolades like Halo and the dog tags which you can collect from killing people. Um, I should be getting some more Crisis videos out, but uh, thanks and see you later guys.